I R. Uh, this is total tens of students virtue of so IC six one five. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you to you how to plot butterfly curve in cadence virtue of so IC six one five, or uh, how to plot the static noise margin for S R M S. And uh, I'll be showing you how to plot the uh, variation of power consumption, how to plot power consumption versus temperature, or any other variable. Or uh, in other words, how to plot any uh, variable, uh, DC operating point of a transistor with respect to any uh, any variable you are uh, interested in. Okay. So this is a conventional 60 SM. So in case of uh, while while plotting signal uh, static noise margin, what we do is we vary the input of uh, the inverter cell, its uh, inverter cell, and see the variation at output. It's simply like VTC curve which we are drawing in case of inverters. The thing is. Uh, we do it uh, first. Firstly, we vary the input of this transistor here, this inverter here, and see the variation at Q bar. And then the next thing is we put this V X here to see the variation of V D C V T C to plot the V T C curve of this one Q. And uh, uh, th these are the two two steps which we have to do for plotting S N M of 60 S N M. So I am going to run launch uh, A D L. So the different inputs I, I haven't given anything special here. Everything we, which you are using for canals is 60 SMs. I mean, just uh, the thing is I have used this uh, period of uh, four micro for uh, word line and bit line two two micro. That's it. So this Q and Q bar I'm interested in plotting. So DC analysis I will do as 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 in case of VTC curves and I'm varying this X from zero to power supply and uh, I'll be plotting it. So this is, as you remember, this is a simple VTC curve of an inverter. Now in this case, the inverter is here is this this one. So I am varying this x from 0 to 1.8, and I am seeing the variation at Q bar. Okay. Now the second step is I'll be putting this x here, and I'll see the variation at Q. But instead of putting this here, I'll just go here only. I'll because they are the same inverter, just they are flipped. It is the opposite. Okay. So uh, for plotting the uh, butterfly curve or S N M for S N M, so I'll just go here. I'll select this curve and I'll just click on here and I'll plot y versus y. So now this is Q. So but I'm interested in Q bar, okay? So actually this is Q. This is varying from zero to one point eight, and this is the Q bar. So this is y versus y. Again, I'll go here, and next step is I'll be choosing in sub Q by I'll be choosing Q. Okay. So once these two are plotted, I can just drag it here, or I just copy and paste it here. And uh, this one I'll send it to uh, copy to new window. I'll I'll do it here. Okay. So this is the butterfly curve of a S S RAM 60. So here you can find the S N M of this one, which is which use a figure of eight for memories. And uh, the other thing is the variation of power consumption. If I want to see the variation of power consumption, okay. So for that, I'll be going again to A D L, and uh, I want to see the power consumption variation of power consumption with temperature. So first of all, whenever you are going to choose this temperature here, from where to where you want to vary, the first thing is you have to see How much range temperature your foundry file is supporting? It depends. Like some foundry files will support from minus 40 to 125. Some will support from minus 55 to 125. That's the first thing. Second thing is the application which you, where you are going to use this uh, memories. Whether it is medical application, industrial application, military application. So it varies from application application this temperature range. Okay. So what I am trying to do, I am trying to uh, see the variation of power consumption with temperature. So by default it takes five steps here. At least I have to, if I'm defining here, I have to give at least three steps here. Otherwise it won't do parametric analysis. Okay. So since I have chosen the Q bar and I'm plotting this, Q is ideal. It's it's this VDC, so so there won't be any variation with temperature. But in case of Q bar, there will be variation with temperature. But I'm not interested. I'm interested in power consumption. Okay, so I'll be going to this tools, uh, 
result browser dc op and this is the power now if you want to see the uh, power consumption of any transistor particular transistor like m3 you are interested or something like that this is for whole circuit so i am just going here i'll just plot it and this is the variation of power consumption with temperature minus 55 to 125 now if you are interested in seeing the power consumption of mo transistor so i'll just go here plot it so i just split them so this is the variation of mo transistor power consumed by the mo transistor with respect to temperature and this is the power consumption of 60 sm with respect to temperature similarly if you want to see the uh, like a uh, transconductance or something uh, like let's let's take this uh, i want to see uh, effect on gm 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 okay let's let's take uh, drain current i'm not able to find gm here uh, it should be somewhere here just plot it any variable you want to plot. this is the variation of drain current with temperature similarly you can Uh, choose any variable, and uh, also here in in case of parameter here you can choose instead of temperature you can choose uh, x also, and just give it some value zero to one point eight and plot it and you can see the variation of power consumption. So this is how we do the uh, we call we find the S N M of uh, S M and how we see the variation of how we can see the variation of power consumption with temperature. Thank you.